Hi there. I'm just today going to demonstrate a little bit on how I start my electroforming process. So um, I showed before that I had taken apart a wasp's nest and I had retrieved quite a few of the wasps. These wasps right here have been pinned for about two weeks, which means that they are hard and they are ready to be electroformed. So this will be the next step. So I also cut up some of the hornet nest um, itself and these will be also electroformed. So I'm gonna process those and get them ready today as well. And they will eventually turn into necklaces. So that'll be, um, one of the first things that I use is 22 gauge wire. I prefer 22 gauge wire just because it is easier to manipulate and it's thin and it doesn't um, take up a lot of um, electroforming space in my bath. So I like thin wire. I know other people have different ideas on what they like, but I'm basically just going to get a couple loops ready on my little homemade hanger here and use these to basically place these guys on. So this is electroforming conductive paint. Um, it's one of two types that I will probably be using. The other type is Safer Solutions conductive paint. I really like it. Um, another really cool thing that I have that I have to process today is a praying mantis. It is already hard. It was uh, one that somebody gave me, so I didn't get a chance to um, to make the wings go out or anything, but that's actually something that I'm also going to process today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pins out of these guys and get them ready and hang them on here, and I'll show you the next step. So I'm just testing the thickness of the conductive paint. So I have one of the wasp's nest hives, basically, and I'm just going to dip it in the conductive paint. I want it to coat, but not obscure the individual chambers. And yeah, that actually looks good. So I wanted to test this before I stuck one of the wasps in because if it's too thick, then the wasps won't have the proper definition. So um, this conductive paint is courtesy of Jason Walsh and he has his own website where he sells that paint. Um, you can find it on Facebook um, or you can contact me and I can get you his information if you wanted to, if you don't have it. Okay, so I have all of the pins out of the wasps except for this one. And uh, if you watched my video last time, I had actually extracted these wasps from little chambers of an old um, bald face hornet nest. So these guys are the nasty black wasps that you don't want to have around your house. And this wasp nest happened to be right beside my brother's entrance of his front door and he had to wait until it got frosted and they died. And then I crawled up or climbed up the tree and grabbed the wasp nest in the hopes that I could actually retrieve some of these wasps. So these wasps were all dead when, or actually not even hatched yet when I first got them, but they were frozen and not alive. So you can see they're in pretty good shape. Some of the ones don't have antenna, so I'll have to correct that after the first coat of copper goes on them. Uh, but as long as I did this properly, they should all come off and be already on a copper wire. So when I first pin them, I pin the first copper wire in, and then I just used regular old sewing pins to um, to 
kind of pull the legs out and place the legs the way that I wanted them to. So just gonna make sure that this is all looking perfect. And then I'm gonna just dip it in the paint and try to get off any little residual bits so it shows as much definition as possible. So if you look, you can see it currently has quite a bit of definition. And then this paint will dry very quickly. Let's see if I can get it to focus a little bit better. This will dry really quickly. And I'm just gonna turn this into a hook and let it dry. And I find this paint is the most conductive and the best if you use it right, like within maybe a half an hour of coating. Um, before a half an hour is up, it isn't gonna be properly dried, so it doesn't work so well. But if you wait more than a few days, I find the con conductivity of it isn't as good so I prefer to be able to wait till I have a chance to put these in the bath right away, like within a half an hour of using the paint. So all of these are gonna go in the bath and they're gonna get an initial coat today. And then hopefully we'll have some cool looking wasps by the end of the day that will have one thin coat of paint and then it'll take about two more days, sorry, one thin coat of copper and it'll take about two more days for it to have a thick enough coat that I can turn it into jewelry. This is the first step. So if you look So they're all completely black. <clears throat> and I'll do the same thing with the praying mantis today and a few of the hives. And hopefully I have coated them enough that I don't get any organic contamination in my electroforming bath because if that happens then the entire bath is wrecked and I have to start from scratch with a pretty expensive huge amount of solution so that one, that one actually turned out really fast really well. So these wasps, after I kind of set them up on this foam piece, um, the wasps took maybe a couple weeks to dry. Uh, I'm sure in our really dry climate, it took a little bit less time, but um, I left it for a couple weeks just because I didn't want there to be any liquid inside these little wasps because as they get covered by copper then they are permanently coated in copper and if you see the jewelry there will actually be a, a, an, a wasp still left inside the jewelry. Now I'm going to pause this. Okay so I have finished with all of my organic stuff for today. Um, you didn't see me use any of the Safer Solutions paint yet. What I'm going to do with that is kind of paint over just any spots that I feel might be difficult to get to. Hang on, sorry. There's all my hanging critters. And there's the, the honeycomb. Um, so those will 
go right in the electroforming bath as soon as they are dry, which most of them are. And it'll take probably about eight hours for their first coat. And then I'll take them out of the bath and show you.